Hi everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. Well, I'm excited to be participating in a video hop where several crafters are getting together and creating a project, and our theme is friendship. So I thought I would go ahead and put together a card um, and a little gift for a friend of mine that has been so helpful on one of my Facebook pages. I have a Facebook page that's called Craft Room Daily Deals, and I met up with a crafter on that site that has been so wonderful in helping me to promote some of the sales that a lot of the craft shops have out there. And she's been so helpful in posting some of those crafty sales out there that I made her a moderator on the Facebook page. So to show my appreciation, I decided to make her this friendship card with this postal theme. And of course, I'm gonna grunge it up because that's my style. So I found several coordinating papers and I cut them down uh, to size to fit a five by seven card. I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch on each layer so that way the layer below will show. And then I took my distressing tool and I distressed up the edges. Now the white polka dot paper is from Tim Holtz and it's from his correspondence uh, paper pad. And I'm working with a stamp set from Seth Apter and this one is called Post Office. And the type of card that I'm creating today is a layered card. So not only am I layering paper, but I'm also layering some of my stamps. If you've seen some of my other videos, um, you know that I love to layer. And um, this is one of the techniques that I do often in some of my card making. I also like to have the grunge look a little bit. And that's why I really like the stamp set from Seth Apter. So to stamp my images, I am using the stamp platform from Tim Holtz. And while this probably isn't gonna be available for very much longer, I do have a few of these still in my shop. So if you're looking to get the travel platform uh, for your collection, I think I have a couple left. Uh, but I'm go ahead and I'm inking it up with my scrapbook.com uh, black ink. And I'm just putting the images randomly around the paper. Now, even though these images probably uh, will be covered up for the most part, I still wanted to stamp my background because, again, when I am creating layered cards, I don't necessarily think about what I'm covering up. I just kind of take one layer at a time. All right, so now that my stamping is all complete, I did want to go ahead and add this little piece of uh, paper that I had in my stash. And this, of course, is a piece from an airmail envelope. And it fits perfectly in the corner and it will be a nice addition to my layers. Now, as I indicated, I am using some of my paper from the Tim Holtz Correspondence uh, 12 by 12 paper pad, but I'm getting this layer that I'm working with right now from the Tim Holtz Ideology Collection. And this, of course, are his pocket cards. The pocket cards come with several uh, pieces and they're already pre-cut, so they're wonderful for layering. Um, and this worked really well on my five by seven card. So once I had my layers all in place, I went ahead and I found uh, one of the paper dolls um, that had two girls and they just looked like best friends. So I thought it would be a nice image for my friendship card. But before I actually added my uh, paper dolls, I went ahead and I added some of my washi tape, uh, which again is also from Tim Holtz, I believe. And uh, it has that postal theme going on, which I have throughout my card. All right, so once I have all of my layers together, I did wanna add a couple of postmarks, um, and these are stamps that the post office will typically use. Um, I was on a design team, which uh, I believe was called stamps.com, and when I was on the team, they enabled us to get some stamps made up. And of course, I had to go for the postal theme because it is one of my favorites. So the set that I have here that I'm working with, one of them says first class, and then the other one says priority. And these are great stamps for my postal theme cards. Um, and I love the little wood handles that they come on. They just look really vintage, um, and they just make me so happy sitting on my desk. All right, so now that I have my layers all put together and my stamps in place, I'm gonna go ahead and add my paper doll, and then I'll be ready to add this completed uh, base to some white cardstock. But once I had this card finished, I did decide to go ahead and add um, a little label that said, hello friend. And while this clearly is a friendship card, I really wanted it to be obvious. And as I indicated, I am gonna be sending this to one of my crafty friends that I met on Facebook. Um, so I wanted it to just be just a really nice greeting. Um, so I added the label, hello friend. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is a video hop. So I will leave a link to the next hop location in my description below. So be sure to check that out. I also wanted to share with you before I go, um, the little project that I am gonna be sending to my crafty friend. And it is a project that I hope to do a video on in the near future. 
It's a really cute little folio and it folds up nicely and it holds all sorts of ephemera. And I did decorate it to match my card. I thought I would send her some of my ephemera from my stash uh, just to let her know that I was thinking of her and that I really appreciate her. So inside the card, I did stamp the sentiment that says, every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. And then um, I had added a little bit more of that washi tape inside as well, just to kind of tie the inside and the outside together. So let me go ahead and share with you this folio that I'm going to be sending to my friend. And um, like I said, it does match uh, the card that I created. So I used a lot of the same paper. Uh, that I had from the Tim Holtz collection. So as you can see, it folds up really nicely and I created some little uh, pocket folds to hold some of my fun ephemera. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just send this to her just again as a little thank you um, and to show my appreciation for all of her help on my Facebook page. So as always, I'll leave a list of all the products that I've used to create the card along with the links to the stores. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I hope to do another video where I'm sharing that little field notes of folio so you're not gonna wanna miss that. All right, everybody, thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.